Where do you think you're going? Who the hell are you? Why don't you tell me, John? I don't know you. I don't know why I'm here. But if you're gonna detain me like this, I can at least know what crime I have committed. Does this look like a police station to you, John? I don't know, I can't, I can't see anything. Somehow, I don't believe you. I think you see more than most, John. You think I've seen something? Why don't you just ask me instead of playing super cop? You already know I'm not a federal agent, John. If the government wanted to find you, they wouldn't have to leave their desk. But you already knew that, don't you, John? I've got a right to privacy. Not in this millennium. If I'm in trouble for legally changing my name, you better tell me now and stop playing games with me. You're out of your damn mind. You sure it isn't you, John? You ever been out of your mind? Who do you work for? You tell me, John. Think hard. If, if you're not a Fed, then you must be a hired thug. If your boss wanted me dead, I would have been dead a long time ago. And I know that you didn't drag me in here to play magic tricks, so... What is this all about? Magic tricks, John, are precisely why you and I are having this little chat. What card was I holding? Looks like you're holding all the cards. That's right, John. It means you better play my little game. What card was I holding? King of Hearts. Very good, John. Thank you. Now, where was I last night? You were following me.
so. You admit that you stole my client's private property. That's not what happened. That's what you think happened. Big difference. I didn't steal anything. That package- I'm not talking about that, John. The device is being analyzed as we speak. It's only a matter of time before we know how it works. But you already knew that. That's why you're stalling me. You're trying to buy time for your co-conspirators. <laughs> you don't have to be psychic to know that. <laughs> I was just trying to help a friend save a few lives. If you knew what I know, it'll break your heart. I don't know who you work for, but they probably- The reason you don't know who I work for is because I don't know who I work for. It's the cost of doing business these days. You see, it's people like you who make it very hard for people like me to do my job. And my job is keeping secrets. You can't do business without secrets. And that makes people like you a serious liability. So the sooner you start cooperating, the sooner you'll be free to go. We both know you didn't jump me and cuff me to set me free. So why don't you stop boring me to death and kill me now? Because I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> well, at least you're being honest with me. Thank you, John. You will never leave this room alive, John. But I still need to know everything you stole in exact detail. The secrets in your head are my client's private property, and I'm here to retrieve them by any means necessary. Like I said, John, it's only a matter of time. I didn't, I didn't know you could do that. Impossible. I can hear you screaming. I can hear every plea for mercy running through your head right now. I hear your mother and your father and everyone you're going to miss when you die. I hear it all. You people watching, listening, but you hear nothing. You see nothing because you're blind to the pain of others. That's why you'll never know. You'll never have the kind of power we have. Impossible. Because you never gave a damn about anyone but yourself your whole life. I know it. I can see it. You see nothing. 